format. I'm Sven Harvey. And I'm David Zavilla. And tonight we're having a look at the PlayStation 4. Now we're going to approach it from a initial release point of view. Mm -hmm. um, well, so it makes sense. It makes sense, looking at the design to start with, because this was the original release of the PlayStation 3 in the UK. This is the 60 gig one, which actually had part software and part hardware emulation of the PlayStation 2, whereas the version of the 60 gig that initially came out in Japan and the States actually had more of the PlayStation 2 hardware in them and therefore was more compatible, but they actually phased that out around about the same time as it came out here. Yeah, it was, it was a shame because yeah. obviously, and as you said, only the 60 gig version had the capability yeah. of the two, bare PS2 games, which I was never quite sure why they didn't carry on with it because I thought it was quite nice, but they did fail. Yeah. But the manufacture cost for them was just under a thousand dollars, was yeah. nine hundred and something ridiculous, which yeah. meant they made a loss. Yeah. When selling them. But then they always made a loss in the original PlayStation and the PS2 when they yeah. came out, so that was no great surprise. No, it wasn't a real surprise. But uh, it was, from, from purely a technological point of view, it was a nice piece of kit. Yeah. The technology in it was good, and unfortunately when they uh, upgraded and slimmed down, yeah. they got rid of the memory ports from the front, which yeah. I personally thought was a great loss. I, I yeah. liked that. Um, the, they streamlined the machine, which I must admit, I I do like the slimline version of it, but they got rid of some of the USB ports, yeah. which, again, now you see, as much as I miss the memory cards, it was the extra USBs that, that you know, were a hindrance yeah. for me. Um, and to be honest, having four USB ports was incredibly useful when it used all those USB um, add-ons. Yeah. So you could put USB memory sticks into it. You had the PlayStation camera and you wanted to charge. Well, for me, it's the case of, you know, if you've got a controller and you've got the keyboard attached, yeah. you charge yeah. both at the same time. Well, yeah. if you're going to watch a movie, um, it, it can't yeah. be in a digital format or you've got to copy it over. And all yeah, so, this, um, whilst PlayStation 3 is an amazing... Uh, piece of technology, great games machine. I don't use mine for games. You you know very well. Mine is a media server. Yeah. So those USB ports are what I stream my video footage from. Yeah, exactly. And this is the thing: the PlayStation Three quite happily accepts USB hard drives. Yes. That are FAT thirty two formatted. Yeah. So you know you could have a great big library of videos and play them back that way, which is great. And you can back the machine up to an external yes. hard drive, which is fantastic as well as being very easily being able to upgrade the hard drive yourself now as, as fun as the ps3 is we're not actually reviewing no. that today we are well, reviewing yeah absolutely we are going to be doing a, um, an episode on the playstation 3 and one on the 360 the xbox 360 just to give you uh, some backstory on those and quite why you still want one now uh, before we uh, start reviewing the design uh, we need to do a shout out for the gentleman who was yes. kind enough to loan us this one. Thank you, Mark, for loaning me uh, the PlayStation 4 so I could I could uh, have a play with it for the last week or so and just check it out. Um, I'm not sure you're going to enjoy particularly what I'm going to say, but thank you for letting me have a play. Well, before we go on about the OS and yeah. the, the other things, design. Mm -hmm. um, it's a cube. Yeah. It's a cubic. Okay. Uh, it, the, 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 the two... Easy. The two... <laughs> The two-tone pattern, again, is, is nothing new because they've used that on the slim down version, but obviously, they, on the slim version of the PS3, but obviously to nowhere near the extent oh, of, no, of the two no, panels. Um, the heat grills tucked in in the ridges is nice, not so much of a dust collector, and also when it blows cold air out, unlike this one that obliterates everything at the side, yeah. uh, the airflow's up and circular, uh, big chunky... Uh, airflow at the back, which yeah. you kind of expect that these yeah. days. We have uh, a smart drive, uh, yeah. which uh, again PS3 has already got that. We've got two USBs at the front, and if we uh, obviously on the website and featuring yeah. one, we'll, we'll have more in-depth photos. But as you can see from there, we then have um, and oh, I'm have to get this right in there, aren't I? Right, you've got your AUX, you've got the LAN, and then of course you've got the um, HDMI and a figure eight power cable. Yeah. That's interesting, there's no other way of connecting it to a display than the HDMI. Which, to be honest, at this at point, this point is, is not a. Yeah. 
Right, so from a design point of view, yeah, there's not really much you can say about it. No, I mean, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the design, uh, to be fair. I really don't like, well, this. Yeah, but that's just because yeah. you've got kids and you don't like fingerprints. Yeah, and it does it does pick up fingerprints like there's no tomorrow and it does scratch. I mean, you see, I don't like it for a completely different reason. Which um, is? Well, un under where I have my games console stacked up mm -hmm. on a stacking system, it gets dusty, air blows yeah. around, and whilst I do clean there quite regularly, mm -hmm. you always see dust on this sort of thing, yeah. where on this nice black... Yeah, you don't. You don't. And as you say, it scratches. And also, I don't understand why the PlayStation logo is there. It's all the way at the back front. and not at the front. I think um, that's from people having it on a uh, deck. Um, yeah, and I really don't like the concept of any machine being marketed as standing up, because it's not good for the disk drive, regardless of what anybody tells you. Well, it, well it, it's one of those things, yeah. It? Not particularly interesting, whereas this no. was okay, it was not like a George Foreman grill, but you it know, was novel it was at novel. the time. Right, so that covers the design. Mm -hmm. Let's get to the nitty gritty now. <laughs> oh Jesus! Um, as a games console, the games on it work and yeah. they play very well, at very high resolution, very mm -hmm. smooth. You know what we should do before we go on about the things that the me and you are really going to slate it for? Why don't, why don't we go about the other plus side? Yeah. That, that was lovely. That's fantastic. The controller is great. I mean, they put the um, PlayStation Move. Yeah. On, they, they built that in, which yeah. I think was great. The uh, two trigger system is nice. Yeah, and the triggers are much nicer than they are on, oh, the, yeah. on the dual shot through. Um, I don't like the fact that they went with the, the rubberized. Um, yeah, and they, they're getting damaged very easily. Yeah, it's, they do. It, I mean, that one's already got wear on the one stick. The the pad, now everybody goes, well, that's the big innovation, the, the touchscreen yeah. pad, and the fact that it's a button. Yeah. To me, the fact that there's a button there is good. Yeah. I'm not that bothered about the touch. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah. And I know there are games that are really into it. Mm -hmm. But for me, the big innovation in this is A, they made it slightly larger. Yeah. Which for my hands is, is better. Uh, but I just like the fact that they built in the move. That, for yeah. me, that's their big step forward. The only thing forward. is you have to buy the, uh, the camera separately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's one of these. So I know a lot of people are going, oh, it's got a touch pad there. I, yeah. I don't care that it's got I mean, The button's great. The speaker's yeah. good. I like that. Options being right there rather than having to mess about down here yeah. is good. But share, seriously, share. Yeah. That's that's so a Facebook generation thing. Um, well, it's funny you should say that because I'll upload the videos to Facebook. Facebook, at the yeah. But the grip on it as well, the the texture, the yeah, done on it. So nice. I, I I'm a big fan of the controller. Yeah. I can see me getting one of those to go with a with a, with a uh, PS Vita TV. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, that's fair enough. Yeah. I, I mean, that. to it's give you an idea with the, with the touchpad, um, the only thing I've really used it for thus far is for moving a map around. Yeah. Which makes sense in a way. Um, I just liked using it as a, an additional button. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, I, I, I really, I love the controller, the yeah. speaker in it. Yeah. As silly as it sounds. great reso gun. Oh. It's, <laughs> why have we waited so long for them to do that? Yeah, well, it was on Wii, wasn't it? But it was so... It's great on the Wii. It's great on the Wii. I, it's on the Wii. Quite, it, I the, want it on the 360. Yeah, the quality, the quality on this is obviously a lot better it's than a big, it's on the Yeah, Wii, it's a big jump up. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, love that. See, people are going to argue what is important there because me and you look at these machines very differently. Oh yeah. Uh, you look at them purely from a game point of view. I know you use them for your yeah. Blu-rays and your movies. I don't. I use mine as a media server. So yeah. you I tell you, well, you say good things about the games, okay. and then I'll comment about it oh. as a media server. Before we go into the games itself, let's talk about what the hardware is in this side. And the hardware is gorgeous. It's 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 quite. I mean, this is the thing: is that I, when they first announced it, um, the announcement about the CPU in it was meh. Yeah, but the RAM. The RAM. Oh, the RAM is great. I mean, the fact that they doubled the RAM up as well just before they they this, they locked it down. So it's got eight gigabytes of. GDDR5 memory basically out, out of when like everything else is higher. still using GDD3. Well, DDR3. DDR3, yeah. yeah. And it's basically it's the RAM that you're getting very high end graphics cards. Yeah. So that's 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 nice. And the fact that the whole unified memory architecture is made up of that RAM is great. great. But the means you're not going to end up with that bottleneck in that you're going to end exactly. up with. Yeah. I mean, the CPU in it is boring. It's basically just an AMD eight core Jaguar cord 
PC Intel clone processor that's got the graphics sub processors already built into the die. It's yeah. it's basically an AMD APU. Um, and okay, it's got nice, decent Radeon graphic cores on it, and the and okay, all right, it's just like okay. Ugh, from from boring. a logic, from, yeah, you, you're saying boring, but from a logical point of view, yeah, mm. oh, it's obviously their next step because yeah. this was clever, yeah, and innovative, and a pain in the ass to program. program for, yeah, yeah. The reason that machine has never been shown off to its true. Qualities yeah. and they're only now getting it's there yeah. is because it's a bugger to program. Yeah. This thing will be a dream when mm. they finally get themselves sorted yeah. out. They, no offense to the game developers that have worked on the catalog so far, I'm sure you put a lot of work into it, but it, it's it's not showing this machine off. No, it is. won't do because this is the thing: is that some of these games started being programmed when it was only going to have four gig of RAM. Yeah. So, you know, the first wave of games. But it's we're the same not, we're not going to see anything released for this machine for at least two to three years that truly shows it off. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Because though it's very much PC architecture, it has its own idiosyncrasies that oh, yeah. you've got to tune for. So, straight PC ports are going to look really good on it, but they're not going to make the most of the special bits no. and special software parts. Yeah, but in all fairness, if you wanted a PC mm. that's capable of doing what this can do, who you're talking money. Yeah, oh, it's certainly not going to be 350 quid. No, no, it's, it's a long way off. Absolutely. Now, what this architecture does mean, though, is that the developers are going to have an easier time of bringing things to it. Oh, yeah. So, independence especially. The, in, the indie industry is going to have a yeah. field day with it, which is, which which is great for them. Have. Yeah, which and is great, and they, they're already bringing out stuff, and Sony are signing stuff left, right, and centre for it, and they're getting the side benefit that they're coming out on the Vita as well. Yeah, but but on the other hand, you could be playing on, on the Vita. Vita. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, let's face it, we we pretty much established a format we like the, the Vita. Vita. Yeah, uh, that that's an imaginary flag in case any Vita the, flag. Uh, but this is the thing: some of those games are actually coming out on the PS4, PS3, and the Vita, and you only have to buy one of them, and you get it on all three formats. Yeah. So this is basically resulting in people with a PS3 and a Vita starting to build up a PlayStation 4 collection now before they buy one. Yeah. Um, Which is good. Yeah. It's, it's good from that point of view. Okay, so... Software-wise... Mm. <sighs> it's difficult, because this is the thing. It's FIFA 14. Yes, it's got the new engine. Yes, it looks stunning. It's FIFA. Still... EA Sports. It's in the game. Totally done the defender. It's a chance. Benzema. Well, that's a real blow for them, Alan. They were on target to win the league today, but not at the moment. Ronaldo. He's a natural dribbler. Pedro in possession, but only just. The chance for him now to use his skill of getting the ball into the box. That goes for goal! And that's the keeper's athleticism there to make that save. And now they've got a corner on the attack again, the team that... I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, I, you know, I have no problem with people that are into sports games. But there's only so much you can do with it and they're there. Yeah, and this is the thing, is that it's going to take them being a bit more used to this and the Xbox One before this is going to move on in any real way, shape or form, I would imagine. Yeah. Um, choice of between the PS3 and PS4 version, there's not a great deal of difference, no. frankly. Um, Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Director Fury. They may not be super, but they are heroes. Colonel Fury, sir. Loki jumped into a vortex and vanished. I know someone that can help locate him. I've just remembered. I gotta go buy some more hair gel. I'll catch up to you. Something about that big rainbow road. Looking at it, I just feel like I want to race. What? Sorry, just talking to myself. 
not do that again. Whoa, I'm so dizzy I'm seeing stars, but no stripes. So much frost and ice. Loki must be working with the frost giants of Jotunheim. Then it's good I always bring the heat, yeah! Quiet matchstick. The controls to the exit are buried. We must remove this ice somehow. Now, if there were only someone here with the power to melt ice, Oh, yeah! Spangle you till you see stars. Still in that ridiculous outfit. You need a bigger wardrobe budget. I am the Red Skull, while you are all merely numbskulls. Red Skull, I'm here to end your evil scheme. But I thought I was a hothead. <laughs> not going to be much difference. I mean, okay, it looks a bit prettier. It's not 350 pounds prettier. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Nack. Put your lipstick on a horse there. Yeah. <laughs> Nack. Um, don't buy the guy who did Crash Bandicoot. Oh my God, can you tell? <laughs> yeah, no, don't get me wrong. Absolutely great game. Good fun. But didn't your eight-year-old finish it in like 10 hours? Yep. Yeah. Ten hours. I mean, you know, it's, it's it like... It should be enough because I didn't. didn't know the feeling. <laughs> Hi, Mark. Um, <laughs> oh, yes. A uh, uh, big shout out the... to Mark, who was good enough to uh, loan us this machine yeah. for the review. Absolutely. Um, but, um, because unfortunately, neither one of us could afford one of them. Yeah. But... Now that's more like it. Time to take care of a few tanks and planes. got to go.
that's a very good game. Yeah, it really Absolutely. is. Absolutely. You know why that that's a, a fifty nine ninety nine game? It's throwing them the bundles even with yeah. the price down. Yeah, I mean they did do the, the NAP bundle, and the NAP bundle was the main one in Japanese launch about a month and a half ago. Mm, so that tells you a lot. But this game. Okay, this game as it is couldn't be done on the PS3 no. because you've got because all the individual the, uh, yeah. parts making up knack. But I'm sure someone could have found a way around that so the animation wouldn't have taken up so much processor time because the gameplay itself. It what really what, have, what have we said? Well, what have I said multiple times about sloppy programming? Yeah. When you give them all the RAM in the world. Guess what they're going to use? use? Yeah, exactly, which is unfortunately... You look at some of the software is. developers who are still bringing out things for the Amiga. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, those people can program. program. Yeah, exactly. Um, Killzone, uh, it's pretty. It comes to something that the games I've had the most fun on on this have been Steam World Dig, which I have on the Vita as well. Yeah. And because I have it on the Vita, I got it free for the PlayStation 4. other games of, of any real interest to me so thus far have been indie games and specifically Resogun which is done by the same guys who did Super Stardust but by me saying the guys who did Super, Super Stardust, Stardust you already know it's a remake of an old game it's in fact Defender Save the last human. Keepers detected Multiplier up. Shields lost. Overdrive upgraded. Keepers detected. But it's Defender. But it's the Defender that could be done on the PlayStation 3, frankly. Because, yeah. okay, there's nice little bits of things falling all over the place and lots of little bit graphics and physics, but if you take that away, it's not going to affect the game.
So, you know, it, it, at the moment, I haven't seen anything, and this includes Infamous Second Son, and so, which again, because it's an early game, won't be taking the, mo the making the most of the hardware yet. Mm. But I haven't seen anything on it yet that makes me think it's worth paying the three hundred and fifty pounds for. Mm. Game okay. Rights. Now, as our viewers have, have heard multiple times, whenever we talk mm -hmm. about PlayStation Three, mine is a medium machine. It is yeah. it is not particularly used for gaming. Uh, there's a couple of game titles which are only available on the three. Um, yeah, okay, fair enough, I've played them, but me. Yeah. And you quite enjoy move stuff, don't you? Oh yeah, I yeah. quite like the move. Because let's face yeah. it, that works a bit better than Kinect does. Actually, Kinect's got a lot better, they've, they've yeah. started really homing that in. But, as a media server, my review is impossible to give, because it's not a bleeding media server. You no. can't play music. No. Has a CD drive and you can't play music. Quite. Um, <clears throat> it, it couldn't play uh, Blu-rays out of the box, but that's only a, a software thing. Yeah, yeah they were software yeah. patched on day one. Yeah, it did that. You even forgive them for that. Uh, but it, it, it can't play audio CDs, that just throws me. And it won't recognise USB sticks, yeah. so it can't play MP3s. It can't slideshow photos. No. It can't play my digital movie files. It can't do. It can't do anything that I rely on my PlayStation. It also for. can't play games off of previous consoles, which yeah, you can't do on other formats at the moment, except for the Wii U. To be fair, but I don't understand why it can't emulate a PlayStation One or Two with its hands tied behind your back. Then it's considering I, I what's in fun. there, it should manage. Yeah, now apparently that's coming. Yeah, but, but it's, it's coming, yeah, and it's, it's being here yeah. is yeah. is a million miles away. Exactly. If my PS3 dies tomorrow, mm. I'm not buying one of these. No. I'm buying another three. Yeah. yeah. How can they release a machine that can't do what its predecessor yes, could do? Yeah. And and I'm I'm not being funny here because you know there are a lot of, people often say to me uh, because I use mine. For media, well, you know, the Mac is so much better. Now, I'm a PC gamer, I will always be a PC gamer. As much as I love my Xbox, when people say, you know, that's, that's what I always think of. But when I'm out and about, I don't use tablets and I don't use laptops, I pull out my PSP. Yeah, it, 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 I've not got around to buying a, a Vita yet. My PSP does the job for yeah. now, and I will get one, I just haven't got around to it. Which is kind of ironic, I haven't got around to it, and it, it's coming to a point where they're getting really cheap. I really yeah. should get one. Just make sure you get a 1000 series. Yeah. The thing is, is that PS4, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, it's the Amiga Atari ST situation all over again. It's just, most programmers are going to program for the lowest common denominator and convert to the other one. Yeah. Whereas it's going to be the stuff specifically done for the slightly more powerful machine, and let's face it, in this generation, oh. it is the most slight of all of the, the, the yeah. generation differences. Um, it's not going to make a huge amount of difference to the games that come out on all formats. It just isn't. Well, you see, the thing was, as I said, neither one of us are particularly flush at the moment, no. so, and there's no game title that would specifically mean that we need to go out and purchase either console. No. Um, although I have to say, the voice activation software on the Xbox One, that's yeah. very Star Trek, dude. Yeah, getting exactly. There. And you've got the motion control uh, for the gesture yeah, control. Yeah, because the Kinect comes in with There it. is that to a more limited degree on the PlayStation 4, but you really you've need to either use the headset or, you, or buy the camera separately. Mm. And I, the decision not to put the camera in the box, I think, is going to hold back the camera software because why would you program for something that people have to buy separately? Yeah, they should have thrown it in. They should have thrown it in. Um, okay, that might have brought the price up to the price the Xbox One was at launch, but the Xbox One price has now dropped to almost the same price as this. In fact, the PS4 bundle with uh, Infamous Second Son has been on sale at more than the Titanfall bundle has been at shows recently, mm. which is, okay, fair enough, the Titan 4 bundle has a download code and this infamous bundle has an actual disc in it. Yeah, but, but it's, it's still, it, it was it's a bit of a shock to see it, to be brutally honest. I have to say as well, the, the OS on this is ugly. Yeah. Um, I much prefer I, to use I felt that's on, really yeah. weird to say as well, because I'm, as a, okay, again, I'm an Xbox user. Yeah. Um, 
I've I've never particularly loved the Xbox home screen. No. But it, it's you know easy Obviously. enough to navigate yeah. through. You can. Uh, but I really like the PlayStation home screen. Yeah. Okay. Yes, it's a straight line with with bubbles, but it's. Really intuitive. You can give a three-year-old a controller and they can find what they want to do. And it was the same as on the PSP. Yeah. I mean, this is one thing with the Vita is that that has actually moved on. The the very Android-y stroke iOS style look to it works. That's frustrating. Yeah, it, it wasn't... Mm. I, I tell you what, and I, again, I know this is a ridiculous thing to bitch about. You, you can't change the wallpaper. Yeah. Now I, I know it's sad. It's I no know feeds. it's stupid. No, no, no. But I it's, like having it's my Star Trek things. your stuff. I like having them. Exactly. I, I know I know that you shouldn't really go, oh, well, it's a, you know, it can't do this. It's predecessor could do it. Yeah, why can't, why can't it? it there? Well, can you imagine Microsoft going, here is Windows 3000. By the way, it can't win Word. It, yeah. It's just, it's not going to happen. So it, I know they're saying it's in the pipeline, I know they're saying they brought it out a bit quicker, yeah. but... I mean, this is the thing, is both yeah. this and the Xbox One were rushed out, but what's really irritating is the fact they were rushed out because of the other one. Yeah. Um, See, the, and if the they've thing gone is, into gestation for another six months, okay, the retail market, especially in this country, probably would have folded in on itself without them over last Christmas. Okay, but I'm not being funny, they are both major... Well, they're, they're, they're colossus companies, yeah. they really are, right? And I'm not insulting anybody who is a programmer for either machine, because I'm sure they're very good at what they do. Yeah. But seriously, how hard is it to develop a piece of software to play music on something that has the drive? Yeah. It's got a graphics engine, Crazy. why can't it show photos? Yeah. Why can't it play digital? I mean, come on, Sony are the people that pioneered digital video. Exactly. exactly. How can it not play digital videos? As as a, a piece of entertainment hardware, it's Ew. incredibly disappointing for Please. me. I do that. To be would, brutally honest, would, would, that, would that be how you'd sum it up? I'd have to sum it up like because this, the PlayStation Three, whichever version of the PlayStation Three it is, it, is my favourite games console ever. Okay. I don't, um, that's your, that's I know your a choice. lot of people will go, are you mad? But it's basically No, I think a lot of people out there would agree with you. It is. Yeah. It, it's just, it's not mine. No, that's fair enough. Yeah, but, I, you know, it kind of annoys me with Xbox users because there's, there's an awful lot of us. Yeah. And we're all quite proud and we all wave our little flags. But it's amazing how many people will insult the PlayStation. Yeah. And I always look at it and go... Why? It, it does its job. For people that like the, the its titles of games, it's great. But as a media server, there's, n there's no competition between my Xbox and my PlayStation. I never use my Xbox as a media server. Yes, it can do uh, music and photos, and yeah. but it doesn't do them as well. And it's not until, yeah. you know, well, I just bang on the button and it, it's mm. done. And the, my uh, and again, you see, you've got to bear in mind, you know, for our... For, for our age group, yeah, our partners use the darn things, and yeah. you know it, it's much easier for them. So to fork out the amount of money they want for this, and it just not do it. Yeah, it's crazy. It's I mean, it, to, be, to be honest with you, I don't see this, and this applies to the Xbox One as well. They're not finished products yet. No, I agree with that. Until they get the firmware up to at least the same level as the PlayStation 3 and 360 for what they can do, yeah. they're not finished. Yeah. Um, and hopefully that will be sorted by this Christmas when we start seeing the second generation of second games to really games. see what these things can do. Yeah. Because right now, I've got no reason to buy that over a PlayStation 3. If my PlayStation 3 dies, you get I, another I'm PS3. Play, and you're going to do the same, aren't you? Yeah, if yours dies. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if mine dies, yeah. I'd sob a little. Mm. And then I'd, I'd just go out and buy another one. Because yeah. um, the, the, the thing is, the PlayStation 3 is a good, mm -hmm. solid machine. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. It's it's perfectly functional. Exactly. And the thing is, I've, I've always said exactly the same thing to anybody that's undenied over PlayStation 3s. They are the best Blu-ray player. Now, obviously, that's technically no longer true because this one is 
slightly better. Yeah. But I'm talking slightly Yeah, but, but what I've always said it about the three was that pound for pound, mm -hmm. you can't beat them. They, no. they are fantastic Blu-ray players. Now, that might change mm -hmm. now that the X... Oh, see, I always want to call it the X-Men. Now that the Xbox One can play Blu-rays, mm -hmm. I really want to have a play with one and, and, yeah. and decide. Because I might change my mind. I might go, well, actually, no. You know what? Pound for pound, this is the best. But I always think of Xbox as, as a games console. Yeah. Uh, I don't really, you know, and, unless they've cured what I've considered to be the, the serious down mm -hmm. features of the uh, 360, which is that the power converter for it, is, <laughs> ooh, it's noisy. Um, I actually have one in the sandbox because the, the, the noise from it distracts even with the television on, I can still hear it. Yeah. So I have mine in a box. Now, I, I know that you don't particularly use them, so you wouldn't really... I mean, I've had to be them. fair, I've had two Xbox 360s, but... Only because you were given them. Well, yeah, but it was like... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so good at my job, I get given a 360. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it was just a case of... There was nothing on it to hold my attention. Well, no, there wouldn't be, because you've got a PlayStation 3. Yeah, and, and I preferred the PlayStation 3 controller as well. Yeah, yeah, so, you've never been a fan of the... the yeah, thing. but then that controller on the 360 is really, really designed specifically for first-person shooters, isn't it? And it's not my type of game, so with my racers and my beat-em-ups, that's not the best controller in the world. In all honesty... When it comes to controllers, I don't know. Okay, no, we have to take that one out of the market and we can't consider Nintendo. Yeah. Um, when it comes to controllers, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't matter anymore because you can buy controllers yeah. for any machine that look and feel exactly like any other controller because they do custom mods yeah, and yeah. makes. And, exactly. You know, I, I am seriously, I am this close to this. Um, a seller, and I'm not going to mention the names because yeah, I'm sure there are legal copyright reasons and all the rest of it. But he basically puts 360 controllers into original Xbox controllers yeah, to make the them. Ones. And I, like, and yeah. I know that a lot of gamers, ooh, ooh, they say bad things about it. I liked that control of all the yeah. controllers I've ever had. That was for me the best feeling controller I've in the world. And I'm this close to just going, you know what, make me one of I've given up because they were meant to release one. Yeah. And then they the did me, and yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, my fingers are still crossed that at some point somebody might do an official one, but I'm, I'm probably just going to get one made. But it's the same thing, you can have controllers made. Yeah. If you're that okay. bothered, you can, you can get just get sorted. them made. Yeah. And I mean, the custom mods they did for the um, PlayStation 3 ones, the ones with the lights, the ones with yeah. the individual little sound chips in, yeah. the one with the rapid fire buttons. By yeah. the way, if you're using a rapid fire button mod controller, stay away from me, you're not fair. Um, it's called cheating. Yeah, it's called cheating. Yeah, when it's built into the hardware, it's still cheating. cheating. <laughs> yeah, if you can't mash your buttons quick enough, that's your fault. <laughs> but no, it it is one of those things that kind of changes it. Yeah. With the because yeah, but you know what? I in two three years time, they're, they're going to be doing custom versions. Yeah. There is probably some factory in China that's already banging out. And the thing is, is you can use the Vita as a controller on it as well. So okay, I'll admit play. that's harder to cheat with. Yeah. But it, it, the the point's still the same. There is probably a company already out there making variations of yeah. that. So Quite possibly. Yeah, controllers not enough. Okay, so. To sum up, how do you feel? Um, I'm basically disappointed. Okay. Um, the fact that I can't do on that what I want to do basically means that it's not a good choice for me, mm. um, which is a disappointment. Um, I mean, I must admit, I know a lot of people think I'm a massive PlayStation fanboy. Well, that's because you rave about the technology and the games and all the rest of it, yeah. and you don't do the same for the Xbox. But in all fairness, yeah, why should you? You, you? you play on what you like to Exactly. Play. I mean, this is the thing. I wasn't a massive fan of PlayStation 1 because I wasn't into games. No, you hated the PS1. Um, and it's Wipeout that got me into that. PlayStation 2, I wasn't all that bothered. I was actually more interested in GameCube. GameCube was an awesome machine. Yeah. I love the PSP and I love the PlayStation 3 because I love the hardware that was in them. I see, mean, I always think it is when people ask me, because they know. Why people ask me your opinions, I don't know, and why the fact I can give them to you. <laughs> but That's we all know scary. you love the Vita. Yeah, and the Vita. I and it's a cracking piece console. of technology. This, this, on the other hand, I'm just not excited by it. 
Oh, exciting news on the Vita, though. Mm. They cured the uh, graphic yes. problem with the buttons. With 100 icons, but now got to 500 icons, which yeah. is basically enough. That's yeah, enough. enough. 500 is enough. Okay, well, my opinion is that I can't, re I can't really give an opinion of the machine, mm. purely because they haven't finished... They haven't finished it yet. It's not finished cooking. Um, I, ca I can't. Um, I can rave about the hardware from now to the end of time, but you know what? It, it's pointless until they can show me what yeah. it can do. For what I would use it for, and I realise that in this show, considering we talk about video games, it, it's kind of me. I don't use it for what I'm meant to use it for, but it, it doesn't do the job that I would want it to do, which yeah. is what that machine does. It, it's not a media server. Mm. Now I know from the press releases that they said it wasn't going to be one. Mm -hmm. I, when, when they said it wasn't going to be one, I took that to mean that they're not going to make a big thing about it like they did with the PS3. It would just do it in the background and it would it would basically do what that can do, but they would concentrate on the games. Yeah. Not that they wouldn't bother with it, that just seems a bit strange. So, no, I, I can't really comment on it. I'll, I will say that I love the controller. Yeah, the controller's fantastic. I love the controller. Um, the machine, yeah, the design is nothing... It's, it's not clever, it's not innovative, it's not special. It's a block. The design on that wasn't particularly clever or innovative. It was kind of interesting. What was nice about that one was all the ports. I yeah. liked the memory cards, I liked all the USBs, and even on my version that I now use, which has got none of them, it, it's okay, yeah. you know, it, it's fine. But uh, it, it's just not imaginative. No, it's, it's, it's just, not there's, not, there's not software on it to make me buy one yet. Um, and until they've sorted out the firmware and there's second generation of games as along, and a wipeout game would help. Yeah. But you know what, mm, if you like 2001, yeah, it's yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, but, yeah. We just need some monkeys. Yeah, yeah and a boat. Oh, there you go, expo. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's 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 not what I was expecting. It no, it, well, that's it. I it it. it what yeah. can you say about it? it? They've not finished it yet. It's not finished. It's, it's not. Yeah, exactly. Just, I'd save my money to be yeah. brutally honest. I'd, it's I'd, something that I might invest consider in another six games. months. Yeah, in another six months' time, it might be re worth re looking at it. But right okay. now. Well, you'll get to service in six months' time, maybe yeah. eating humble pie. Yes, I, doubt I hope. I in a way, it. but I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget you can subscribe to us here on YouTube, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and don't forget to check out the Geekology website where the format stuff is as well. Thank you very much for watching. Good night. Good night. Hi, and welcome to an update uh, from that episode of Format you've just seen. Um, basically, I'm tapping this on to the end because before I've edited together the PlayStation 4 review, there's actually been quite an update on to the, the firmware. Quite an update? Are, are you really going to say quite an update? <laughs> there was a sliver of updates. A sliver of updates. I mean, this is the thing is that what they've done is this, it's a firmware update and they've added the option to have a video editor for your captures and kind of sharing videos. Which is great. Which is great. Which is great. Yeah. You've got uh, a theme function. You're probably actually watching it about now because um, <laughs> I've, got, I've got one onto a USB stick. Um, and that's the other thing you can do. You can basically copy your videos that you've recorded onto a USB stick. Dude, I'm not impressed. No. You, you can put them onto a USB stick, 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 but... You can't read off them and you can't copy off the USB stick back onto the hard drive. It's like... What the hell's the point of that? Do, do you think that maybe they're just lying to us? Yeah. They're really worried about piracy and they're going, you know, the only way we can stop people from doing anything is they just, just don't have a I, I mean, they've basically said shit. that things are going to follow on, but just have an update where How long USB's, does it take oh, to follow on to read a USB? I know. I mean, basically, you can read and record to a USB now. Basically, read and, and copy a file to a USB, but it doesn't know what to do with anything you plug a USB stick in with data on. It's like you've got MP3s or video files, and it doesn't know what to do with them, so it ignores it. It's like really, you went to the to the point of getting the USB stack sorted and and being able to, to deal with USB sticks, but you can't do anything with a USB stick with data you plugged in. That's crazy. Um, and the only other real update to it is the fact that um, you can stream at a higher resolution than you could before. Woo. Um, it's still my beating heart. Yes, and you can switch off HDCP, the copy protection, 
on the HDMI out so you can record in 1080p your um, gameplay footage which it kind of already does internally. It does that internally anyway so, so what's the I'm point like, that? I don't get that, why, why, why do that? But apparently it was asked for by a lot of the gaming community, so I'm fair enough, okay, let's listen to that. I don't know if, if, if that's what the gaming community wanted. Fair fantastic. enough. Fantastic. But at the stage, it's still not really made much of a difference, and you can't do all the things you can do with PlayStation 3. Yeah. So until we get to the point where it can do everything PlayStation 3 can do, and have games that run better, then I'm not entirely sure I still see the point of the PlayStation 4 until later this year. You know what the irony is? Even if you have old school broadband, the update for the PS4 was shorter than this review of the update for the yeah. PS4. <laughs> but there we go. But I thought I'd tack that on to the end. Um, as it stands, I'm though I want, I did want a PS4. If anything, I'm slightly put off it still. And if all of the updates that they said are coming do come, then I'm going to want one because then I'll be able to do everything a PlayStation 3 can do. And then I'll be able to play the games looking a bit better. But even then, they're just you know they're going on about games driving games that are in 1080p at 30 frames a second, whereas I've been playing Wipeout HD. At, uh, I just don't get it. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, PlayStation's a beautiful machine, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, three's good. I've got yeah. no issue with the three. And with with the rumours of PlayStation Three possibly going down to under 100 pounds for a 12 gig one by Christmas. And yeah, games I'm not. Hit. I'm not planning on oh, no. owning the box. Oh, I know, I know. Games. But but you know, if anybody hasn't got a games console, oh, uh, buy a three. Uh, buy a three, and because you can pick up pre-owned games for almost next to nothing. And, yeah, and some of them are absolutely brilliant. So, yeah. and the yeah. only reason I'd recommend a PlayStation Three over an Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty is because of the Blu-ray player. Yeah, that's it. If a Three Hundred and Sixty could do Blu-rays, I would not have touched. A PlayStation 3 after. But until you play Boy Page D. Well, that's what you're for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm coming to your house and play with it for like it. It just saves me. No, I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, it's, it's a solid machine. And there are some games on it I really enjoy that are exclusive to yeah. it. But for me, the major selling feature of a PlayStation 3, and the main reason I recommend it to people, it's, it's just one of the best media servers you could possibly buy. Especially if you've got a PSP. Mm. You know, you're, you're laughing. You'll be anywhere and access your data. That's fantastic. You know, and none of this nonsense with clouds. Yeah. And, you know, seriously, we, we need to have a rebellion within the community. They're not clouds. They're big servers sitting under mountains. They're Skynet. Okay? Skynet. They're Skynet. <laughs> End of they're not clouds. We're, we're not, in, not big we're, fluffy. we're not in Nintendo, okay? <laughs> Mario isn't going, ooh, Facebook pictures. Okay, they're not clouds. No. It's just... <laughs> but anyway, moving back to the review, we still stand by everything we said in the video you've yeah. just watched. They called it an update, but uh, they tweaked a few features and they weren't, yeah. Okay, you were impressed that the video editor was on there, that's yeah. great. But she can read some of it and I don't know, say, watch Big Bang Theory. It's no, it's no, not working for me. Well, no, um, you would have had all of the links earlier, but do feel free to subscribe, please. Um, <laughs> hint, you can also hint, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and you've got the website, which is down below. So, uh, yeah, thanks for that, and we'll see you again soon. Goodbye. Bye.